Well, for a number of years, through my interviews with, with women, uh, both on my talk show, Extraordinary Women TV, and through my writing, uh, a big part of what I've been doing is discovering what the female experience is. I mean, what is it to be a woman in our world? And through my guests, uh, what I have really been discovering is that, you know, it's a matter of our values. Uh, and for, for a lot of women, uh, making things happen is a very male way of doing things, isn't it? It's pushing, it's, uh, it's analytical thinking. Uh, but there's another way of uh, making our careers come to fruition or dreams come true uh, rather than just pushing it out there. There is that aspect of us, that creativity, the nurturing, the intuition, the just being, being still and believing that in our feminine essence we can make things happen too just by simply by being who we are as a woman and honoring that. And that's one of the things that has been coming, uh, very, becoming very clear to me in, in interviewing women in some cases we're just doing things the male way and they're not working for us. And there was a time for me, it wasn't working for me. How I found my voice of confidence, uh, well, that actually began when I lost my voice of confidence and when I lost my, my confidence really uh, growing up. Around me, I heard from the outside world from various sources Shannon, unless you have something intelligent to say, don't say anything at all. And I heard that in many different ways, but what that told me was, you are not smart. You are not smart enough to have anything of value to say. And what that did for me was create a desire uh, as I grew up and as I became a, a young woman to really put myself on a path of higher learning, of, of learning, of education, teaching myself, uh, whatever it took for me to feel that I was smart or that I am smart and I have something of value to say. Put me on the path of learning the meaning of life, uh, learning sciences from cosmology to uh, quantum physics, biology, chemistry, studying philosophy, the greatest religions. It put me on a path of studying the greatest minds uh, on the planet from the beginning of time and their work. And today I feel that I have something to say and something to share. And it all began really feeling that I didn't. To follow your heart is really to listen to your inner truth and, and find the courage uh, to follow that, that desire. And I mean, I have plenty of examples of that, but something that just really jumps out at me was a time that I was asked to speak with, uh, uh, speak to an association of uh, finance executives, which was a predominantly male audience. And the topic that I was asked to talk about was actually unleashing your creativity, which has a lot to do with following your heart. And I said, well, you know, I'm gonna be speaking about the heart you want to think about this. It's a male audience. Are you sure you want to hear it? Yes, yes, we want to hear this. And then I shared my enthusiasm with a dear friend of mine who's a finance executive. He said, Shannon, you cannot, cannot under any circumstance actually deliver this speech. You're going to lose your audience. And I began to doubt myself. And I doubted my topic. And I doubted that maybe I had anything valuable to say. But you know, I gave that speech and I said to them, I might lose you. And to my surprise, they stayed. And at the end of it, uh, I had a number of gentlemen come up to me after and thank me for uh, talking about something that they felt they didn't really either know much about or that they were ready to hear. Or in one case, uh, a gentleman's daughter was following her heart and dreams and he felt that he had something to offer his daughter and thanked me for sharing that. The moment I decided to launch Extraordinary Women TV it was a very powerful time actually in my life. It was a very powerful moment. Um, I had found out a friend of mine had been diagnosed with an illness and he was given uh, less than a year to live. And I asked myself, 
if I had it less than a year to live, what would I do? And I paused, and that caused me to really sort of reflect back to my childhood dream of wanting to have my own talk show uh, to celebrate women who are doing great things in this world. And so I put myself on a path of doing what it would take to, to do that, to getting past my fear, to learning the skills, to writing, to producing, to learning to be a talk show host, to finding guests, to to uncovering those stories uh, of, of women who I think are doing really remarkable things in our world. And uh, that really was the start of Extraordinary Women TV. What does Extraordinary Women mean to me? Uh, it's interesting because I actually put myself um, on a path of understanding what is extraordinary because I didn't feel extraordinary. I felt very, very ordinary, and I wanted to feel extraordinary, and so I decided that I would create my own definition of what extraordinary is, and that is having the courage to follow your heart's desires uh, and make that dream come true, and the key is courage. And that's how I define an extraordinary woman, a woman who has the courage to follow her heart's desires and take inspired action. But what's really more important is what um, other people have um, definitions for themselves based on on their own paths. So for women out there that might be watching this, come up with your own definition of extraordinary. If you don't feel extraordinary today, find a way so that you do feel extraordinary. It's that one step beyond ordinary. Extraordinary is that one step beyond ordinary and the difference between someone who is extraordinary and someone who is ordinary is perhaps just a matter of moving past courage and taking a step in a direction that we want or a step to make something happen that we've always wanted. Uh, that one step to make our heart's desires uh, become real under the sun. And in whatever form that might be, it might be traveling the world, it might be creating a beautiful garden, it could be making wonderful paintings, it could be uh, creating a, a successful business, or it could be you know, running a big organization, or even being a, an amazing stay-at-home mom. Uh, it can come in many forms, but what's really important is that we all have our own path and our own values, and if we can define extraordinary within our own values, we can all feel extraordinary. We don't need to feel ordinary. The change is going to happen whether we like it or not. So we might as well embrace it and walk through that fear, but find that courage to get on that other side of change. And it's possible. I've done it in my life. Um, I've interviewed hundreds of women who've done that for themselves as well. And so we can do it. And when we do it, uh, we can make happen um, whatever is in our hearts to make happen in this world. And really, it just takes getting on that other side of change, walking through the fear, uh, and, and finding the courage to do so. And that, I think, is really, truly where we're going. We're, we're looking at women who are leading from their heart through inspiration. And we'll start to see women bloom in a much more beautiful way I believe in generations to come.